Morning. Now you can see Freddy's come to join me. He's soaking wet, just coming from the rain. He decided he likes that. He's covered in mud. He's probably been rolling around the grass and chasing Elsa, his girlfriend next door. And he's sitting now on a piece of hardboard covering my two years worth of YouTube demos. So there we are. So I'll, a uh, bit of movement now. I'm going to come down to my board and just bring the camera a bit closer and I was thinking of what to do this morning and I've decided that we'll uh, we'll do some mountain type scenery or at least rocky so that I can I can try to explain a bit better about the uh, the use of the plastic bit of plastic card for scraping out when the paint is wet so uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll treat this as a tutorial and I'll explain all my materials again this is the 130 pound Fabriano, Fabriano cold press it's a lovely paper for wet in wet and I buy this from Grantham's Art to Discount in blocks of a hundred and it's very reasonable. Uh, also uh, my palette. Th this tray, I bought two of these uh, from uh, some outfit, the the Emporium I think it's called. I bought two, about six pounds including post and package which was very very good because you don't, you can buy them at uh, the big catering wholesalers but you don't want to buy 20 or 30 of them, one will last a lifetime but anyway they, it was two and it was very very reasonable I've got lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey and burnt sienna they're Cotsman tubes of watercolour paper, uh, watercolour paint student quality, good enough for our purpose and thanks to Maria who suggested that I give them a spray with water first to just give them a bit of a soft to soften them up a bit which I'm duly doing so thank you for that again Maria uh, so I'll go straight in got my cup of tea the two inch slightly less than two inch Ron Ransom Hake I know a lot of you are trying to use the Hake and some of you are finding it a bit difficult but it is difficult no doubt about it but it's worth all the the gnashing of teeth and pulling out of hair when the brush unloads its huge amount of water to trap the unwary but it does so many things it's about four brushes into one it has its it has its uh, idiosyncrasies shall I say not faults because the clumps of hairs that are stitched into this into the, into the brush handle do do tend to split and you have to bring them back together again on your palette by just a bit of water and then you oh I'm not in that'll be a junk call let's just uh, <coughs> bear with it there's nobody I know so we don't answer those probably nobody really at the end of it just another nuisance call no doubt right okay so I'll, I'll warm up the background with some some raw sienna and a bit of burnt sienna a bit of dirty burnt sienna but that doesn't matter as long as it's going to be covered up anyway bit of yellow in, in the foreground here Might even put a tumbling stream down there if I remember, but I haven't done any drawing. It's just from experience. I like, like, oh, perhaps it wasn't a junk call after all. They're trying the landline now. But I'm not stopping the video because it's a phone call. Right, so we'll, we'll put in a nice bit of blue.
I mix a bit of alizarin with the blue to take this sting out of the rickets blue. I'm going to mix a bit of, bit of red with that now, with the ultramarine. And then we can put in this dark. Shadow under the clouds. Right, we clip. So you don't need to, to stretch your paper first. This is heavy enough, provided you reclip it as it expands, and it gives you nice and flat. So we'll, we'll put in some some distant hills, mountains, whatever. So we'll just carry on with this. This is just a support for the for the, uh, the the scraping out. So I want to put in some green. So I just used ultramarine and and a lemon yellow and a bit of burnt sienna. And this would be the undercoat for. I won't put a stream in or anything. The undercoat for the rocks. Alright, let's get in some nice uh, yellow in here, I think. Just some warm colours here. Different planes. A bit of dark on there, a bit of dark shadow on the rocks, on the uh, mountain side here, come up there, okay, nothing more than that, and we'll put in some lovely rich warm colours in here, but don't want to cover it all, where do you, where do you have to? Oh. Show the shape of the land with these rocks. Hello, free what are you doing? So the, when you scrape out, you've got lots of different colours in the rocks. Oi! Oh, just as well I cover all my watercolour paper. Fred is sitting on the pile of, of the new paper. Try to vary the, the shapes. Well, I want one side more dominant than the other, I think, but... Uh, right, that was it for our tutorial. We've got plenty to, to work with there. And while the paper's wet, this is what we want, want to try to preserve. Right, I'll put, the, put that down and get my card. And just start to, well I've just re-clipped the paper again, see it goes an awful lot, doesn't it? Right, so let's get into here and just a, uh, just a bit of creative lifting out. And remember we've got the, the three planes on the rocks and if we only get two planes, we can, we can put a bit of shadow back afterwards if we so desire. So, some in the grasses. I'll put this yellow in, or this greeny colour. Uh, just put a bit of a wall or something there. I've got to put trees or growth foliage. Uh, let's 
it's just I don't want to go onto the edge of this, onto the uh, the hip of these hills here. I want to leave those as shadow, just put the scree type rock in. Right, swig of tea. Well, maybe we'll go up a little bit, one or two of them. Very reminiscent of uh, Welsh hills in North Wales. One of my comments was in Welsh this morning, I haven't got a clue what it was about. So nice, lots of stuff going on there. I, I don't know a better way of doing rocks on, on wet in wet. I, I mean, wouldn't do this on, uh, I don't think, on a dry paper, although you can, of course. So I, I'm preserving some of that, the lighter, the lighter green in there, just so that... Uh, Freddie, you don't like tea. You're mischief, aren't you? Here, I'll show you Fred, because we're very proud of him. Where are you Fred? Ah. Can you see him? I can't see him off me, but the, the camera screen. Oops, where are you Freddy? I'm sure that's him in the corner there. Is it? Are you Freddy? No, I can't see him. Right, okay, give up. Right, okay. We're going to add quite a bit to this, but, but basically it's just really showing the etching out process again. I hope you can see, see it well enough. So we'll, we'll do some bigger rocks in here. I'll have to put in some shadows in there because that I've lost I let that dry a bit too too much so sorting out Freddy I think right now I'm going to put in some dark shadow trees in there I think it's crying out for something like that bit of red bit of blue bit of yellow bit of sienna bit of water Let's just get, get some of that in there. Didn't like that rock there, so. He's looking for mischief. Is that all ready? Just come up here with up there. Put some more green in there. For for the paint to show against a wet background, you do need to to um, paint very thick. It's what the advantage of painting with tube. Paint straight out of the tube, but being stingy, we do it this way because we can keep we can just carry on where we left off the day before. Right, so that so that's a nice bit of bit of stuff there. We'll just put in some texture in here, I think. Just get this uh, showing the uh, lie of the land.
Okay, very little detail up there. I'll put some in, but uh, but oh, you just get carried away doing this. I'll put some figures up here. Put a shadow in there. Right, so we're just giving the, uh, the, just putting the the shadow in between those rocks. Just blew in a bit of ultramarine. Okay, that, that'll do. Just gives that impression that. stuff going on there, that these are rocks with three planes. <coughs> <coughs> Let's put something in there. So then it's not just bags of damn all as Edward Weston used to say, just pick out some little some trees, just some Bleached trunks there. Right, okay. So we've got we've got another plane there, so I don't mean an aeroplane. Now I want to just put in some stuff in here. That's a Just need something in there, I think. Just going to nothing here. Yeah. Maybe I'll need to just develop that a bit. That is not really a good thing now, is it? Let's just, just put some biggish. No, otherwise it'd be out of scale with the fingers and not put in. Yeah, let's see what we can do there. Let's... Right, I'll, I'll think about that. Well, maybe this, this one's catching the light, but it's there's not a lot of texture on it. But I don't think we will see much texture. So I'll just add some. If it blends, that would be okay. A lot of rain coming down now. Right, that that'll do. We'll, we'll we'll put up with the cauliflowers. We might put in something underneath them when it dries a bit. So I'm going to just uh, dry this off a little bit. Take your headphones off.
have a swig of tea. Now I'm, I'm thinking of lifting out a bit of a path through there. So I'll use the hake and a bit of tissue. Just, just, just a little bit there, and, I, and I'll, I'll put some, some banks in there. In there. It doesn't need to show a lot because the figures will show that. Right, something like that. And there may be just a bit in there. Okay, that just about shows, isn't it? We'll uh, just lift that rock out there. Right, that that will do. Right, give it a dry. Headphones off. I try to remember to say that about headphones because somebody did complain some time ago that I didn't warn them and they had their their headphones on and probably on the train. I don't know, then somewhere. And uh, it hurt their ears, so I have to try to be a bit careful. Now, Ray, uh, let's do some Sienna. So I would have, we'll have one, one in here, fairly big. Put a head on and some jeans. Okay, so this, this one. Another one here. Could put some shadow in as well. Just a bit of a bit of an anchor there, and we'll put some uh, Start again on that one. Pretty bit of red. That shows up. I just mm. Right, okay, that, that'll do, that, that'll do, that's so uh, much enough. I've um, well, got a bit of a uh, bit of stuff in here. The 
It's not on the path, is he? I'll have to put another path in there. Right there. Uh, so that little path through there, I think. Actually, we could put a figure here, couldn't we? I tried to show him sort of climbing over the, uh, the wall there, but... Doesn't show, does it? His head's a bit... A bit big. I'll make you put it just a little bit. Okay. Oh, he's too big now to, to compare to that one, so we're going to make him bigger now. Ah, this is the problem. So let's just put him a bit bigger. Yeah, he's just a little bit too big, isn't he? So let's just chop his legs off a little bit. Oh. Hmm. We'll let that go because it's just a bit of a... Objects on the landscape, the best I can say for that. I just want to put, just put, put a darker tree up there. I'm not going to put any more detail. I think I'll have to admit to failure on that little figure there. I'm not going to take it out. It's what it is. It's a tutorial in, in painting rocks in a, in, a, in a landscape. The background is I've split it half and half, but uh, well, we'll uh, we'll see. I'll sign it as I always do. So we sign your work, even if it's not very good, because. There'll always be somebody that will like it. Then I found let's put in some bullets. Okay, we'll put it in the mount and we'll have a look at it. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Always helps. So if you've got any questions, just uh, don't, don't be shy. Just ask, ask away. So there we are. We've got loads of rocks, 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 rocks. Just bits of plastic card. Don't throw them away. They make wonderful brushes, and they do great, great things. And we can just, well, it's still a bit wet. We can just etch out a little bit. Oh, he's really. 
get in some of that figure there, I'm trying to put it in there. Right, hold on, let's see if we can just reduce the size of it. There, let's just take some of that out there, just make him just a bit smaller. See where my actual brush is. It's just. Oh, that's a little bit better. Right, okay, there we are. Let's zoom in. I'll bring the camera around here. Well, so there we have, we have a background and, so, and some light catching that, that uh, bit of mountain there doesn't quite ring true does it? but anyway this is what the exercise was all about that's going even further focused so it's great for putting scrubby scrubby trees uh, gorse and that sort of stuff look over the top of it and it highlights the scraping out like that tree line there Don't be fine of using a lot of colour, a lot of rich colour. Uh, let's just get that straight. Well, there we are. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll have a think. I'd, I'd like to do some, some, some open stuff now for my next video. I don't know. We'll have a think. See you later. Bye-bye.